This is Code.org, and we're debugging a program. Debug the program. The owner of Project Mercury Pastries Food Truck wants to find the total inventory for each dessert. They have the following values. Okay, so we have a 2D array where each row represents a unique food truck in the business. Each column, so each row is a unique food truck. Each column represents the number of cakes cookies or pies okay so just real quick each row is a food truck so food truck one two something like here is three well maybe there you get the idea and four okay and then we have cakes which would be here cookies which I guess is here and pies, which is there. Okay, the get dessert inventory method is support is supposed to return a string containing the total inventories for each dessert, but it has an error. Fix the error in the program. Ah, all right. So right now, guys, we well, let's see what it does. How about that? Okay, so we got sixty four, sixty five, sixty seven, sixty three, right? And supposed to return a string okay so a string containing the total inventories of each dessert so that would be a problem because if it's total inventories there should only be three of these right because there's only cakes cookies and pies it looks like it's turning returning the total for each food truck so 25 plus 22 is 47, 47 plus 17 is 64. So we're going to assume that's what it's doing. Okay, so if that's what it's doing, we're counting them in the wrong way. So what we want to keep in mind then is that we want to transcend each column. We want to go down the column. To go down the column, the first number as we navigate a 2D array is the row. The second number is the column, right? Because the 2D array is like, um, we're going to just pretend this is a 2D array. X is equal to. Okay, so X is equal to this 2D array. This 2D array has a length. X has a length of three. The reason is, is it is an array of three rows. Index zero, index one, index two, the length is three. Now, each row has a length of 2. That length of 2 is going to be what represents the columns. So, in row 1, column 0, or row 0, column 0, is 1. Row 1, column 0, is 9. Row 2, column 0, is 7. Right? So, the length of each of these is 2. The columns... This is column 1, 33, 12's in column 2. It would be row 1, but column, well, column 1. 2 is in column 1. It's row 0, column 1. So you want to keep that in mind. And what we want to do is navigate downward. It looks like right now we're doing row, then column, and then adding it up. We're doing counting up by column each time by 1, which is going to be the issue. We want to flip these, right? Because if we're going through columns first, Right. If we're going through the column first, if column is going to start at zero and it's going to be less than the length of a row, right? Because at row zero, the length of row zero is three. So we know we're going to go zero, one, and two to represent each index. And then once we hit three, call is going to be equal to three. Three is not less than three and it's done. So then we're adding them up like this. The row right here, the row variable isn't changing. Row is set out here. So it's going to be zero. We go through the entire column. We print it out. We hit the bottom. We go back up here. Now row is one. We go back down. We go through the entire column of row run. We print it out. We're going to need the reverse of this. So instead, I'm going to go call. Now I want to change this even though because I want to make sure I'm getting the length of the actual row because the columns are are the indices within a row. So now I'm going to get the length of row 0 here. Now I can change this to the actual rows, which we want to iterate over. And that way we're going up and down rows 
to add up to get a total rather than going through each column or across the row because we want totals by column. We want a cake total, a cookie total, and a pie total. So now with that done, I can actually leave row and column, at least hopefully, and we should be good to go. And doing some quick math here, but 25 plus 21 is 46. 56, 64, 64 plus 30 is 94. Looks like we are good to go. Cool. Onward.